In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix stripped out cabinet screws. As the cabinets begin to age, the screw holes strip out and the screws will no longer hold. I'm going to show you several different ways to fix that problem without moving the hinge or drilling new holes. You don't have to remove the doors to make these repairs. I'm doing this to make it easier to show you how to fix the problem. You can see here I'm tightening the screws and they just spin in the holes. Except for that last one, it's the only one that tightened up. First thing you can try is using a larger screw. Using a larger screw, the screw will look different from the rest and it may not sit flush on the hinge. The next method you can use is a small plastic molly. You'll need to drill the hole a little larger so the molly will fit. Here I'm marking the drill bit with tape so I don't drill all the way through the cabinet door. I'm not going to be able to use the entire molly, so I'll trim it to fit. Next, I'll squeeze a little wood glue into the screw hole. Now I'll insert the molly. Next, I'll use a hammer to make sure it's in all the way. Now I'll use a sharp utility knife to trim the molly down flush with the door. You can also use a sharp chisel. Now I can install the screw. And you can see here it tightens up really well. Next method you can use is weed whacker line. It's made of plastic and works really well as a plastic molly. First I'm going to drill the hole deeper to accept more of the plastic line. Now I'll install several pieces of line to fill the hole. Now I'm ready to reinstall the hinge. The last method I have is round toothpicks. Use wood glue on the toothpick, then push it into the screw hole and snap it off. Keep doing this until you can't fit any more toothpicks into the screw hole. The trick here is, is to wedge as many toothpicks into the hole as you can. As the screw hole starts to fill up, I'll use the small end of the toothpick to wedge in to the screw hole. Now I can install the screw. Out of all three of these methods, I like using the blue plastic molly one the best. That one seems to hold pretty well, and it seems to last the longest. Now because this is my second favorite method, and I don't have enough plastic mollies, I'm going to use the toothpick method for the rest of the holes. Another method, which I didn't show you, is because I don't have any, are wooden golf tees. With a golf tee, you may have to enlarge the hole a little bit, but they're a lot easier to tap in with a hammer um, than the toothpicks. The face frame screw holes weren't stripped out all the way. I'm going to do them now, um, just so I don't have to come back later and do them. I normally don't fix cabinets I'm about to replace, but I got tired of the doors falling off all the time and I'm not quite ready to remodel the kitchen. As always, I hope this video helped you. If you have a tip you'd like to share, leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Also, make sure you hit the bell icon to get notified next time I upload a new video. Until next time. Thanks for watching.